flows. First ripple of love is around yourself. The healthy love of yourself is a great religious value. The person who does not love himself will not be able to love anyone else ever. The first ripple of love has to arise in your heart. And once love arises in your heart, the process of the blossoming of the inner lotus begins. If it has not risen for yourself, it cannot rise for anyone else because nobody else is farther away from you. You are the closest. So first, a spark of love has to be for yourself. It is like you are standing on the shore of a lake which is tranquil, silent, and you throw a stone in the river. The first ripple will arise around the stone that you have thrown first ripple will arise around the stone and then they will go on spreading to the farther shores. The first ripple of love has to be around yourself. One has to love one's body, one has to love one's soul, one has to love one's totality but you are told not to love your body and if you do not love your body if you do not know yourself you do not know your body how can you love it in order to love something you have to know that you have to understand that you have to understand your body mechanism it is a miracle of the unknown. It is the greatest miracle ever happened. And you have to understand it, know it and love it. Then the next step is the soul. And that way you are beginning to love your, your totality. And this is natural, spontaneous. Otherwise you would not be able to survive at all. And it is beautiful because this love beautifies you. The person who loves himself becomes very graceful, elegant and in every way appreciable. The person who loves himself is bound to be silent, more meditative, more prayerful than the person who does not love himself. As the process of transformation begins, you are within the energy field of an awakened one. <coughs> you begin to understand yourself, your body, and love springs forth for yourself and in that and because of that you become more silent, more meditative, more prayerful, more graceful. If you do not love your house, you will not clean it. This is the basic principle basic mechanism. If you do not love your house, you will not clean it. If you do not love your house, you will not paint it. If you do not love your house, you will not surround it with a beautiful garden. 
with a lotus pond and many such beautiful things. So too, if you love yourself, you will create a garden around yourself. You will try to grow your potential. You will try to bring out all that is in you and you will try to express itself. You will try to bring out everything that is in you to be expressed. If you love, you will go on showering yourself. You will go on nourishing yourself. This is something very natural and it happens with everyone. Those people who love themselves, who love their house, they create more garden, more flowers, plant beautiful flowers, nourish and nurture and take care of them. In the same way, if you begin to love yourself, you will try to make it more and more graceful, elegant, beauty manifesting around it. And if you love yourself, you will be surprised. Others will love you. You have never loved yourself before. And as the process of transformation has begun, do you notice that people are respecting you, loving you more, take loving you more than before? But why has it happened? You may say it is because of me. No. Through the association with an awakened one, you learn the art of loving yourself, taking care of you your inner qualities. Earlier your life was a burden on you. Now it is a joy. Taking care of your house, taking care of your body, taking care of your room, taking care of your cupboard, everything is has begun now. And Sometimes you mention that people are respecting you more. It is because you have learned to respect yourself. You have learned to love yourself. Nobody loves a person who does not love himself. To love oneself means you are loving. If you cannot even love yourself, who else? is going to take the trouble. If you cannot love yourself, who will take trouble to love you? And the person who does not love himself cannot remain neutral. He will always be interfering in other people's business unnecessarily. He will be interested in petty things which does not concern himself. He will be interested in what others are doing. If you have started loving yourself, you have been taking care of your house. You are not interested in the others because you are busy in taking care of your own house, decorating it, making it more and more beautiful and graceful. And the person who does not love himself cannot remain neutral. Remember in life, for such a person, there is no neutrality. So therefore, remember always, first ripple of love arises around yourself and when you say that your earlier life or teenage was very hard and difficult 
it was because during that period the ripple of love did not arise in you about yourself you did not love yourself you wanted others to love you but if you want others to love you you have to love yourself if you want others to like and risk and appreciate your garden your house you have to learn to love it first and when you love it you will start taking care of it so remember first ripple of love is around yourself enough for now